outrageous. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, help me. Joseph and Mary. Lord. Okay. But it was actually not a catastrophe. Hey y'all, it's me Azalea. You're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy, this old shack series. Now y'all done seen this house full of garbage. Y'all done seen this house get electricity. And now we are anxiously awaiting to see this house get plumbing. Y'all, tomorrow the inspector is coming for the rough end inspection of plumbing. I have not seen the house. We've been on a little vacation. You can watch those vlogs. I'm about to walk in this house and see hopefully some really cool progress. I'm so excited. Exactly. Oh, oh, there's, there's still, uh, 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 they just moved the stuff. They've, uh, um, sorry, it's up in here. Uh, Um, nothing new up here. I can't even look at that. You know, I hired a plumber because I don't know about plumbing. Maybe this is all they need for the rough in inspection. Maybe this is all you need for the rough in inspection, but I'm. Sure. I'm not I'm sure not if we're ready for a rough in inspection. This is not what I was expecting mm -hmm. to find. Like one thing. Okay. Smells? Oh. Well, this looks different. We do look like we're hooked up to water. Okay, that maybe that's what we need for rough end. We do look like we're hooked up for water. Le let me show so, you. Um, that's the pipe that brings in water from the county, and that's the pipe that brings water to the sewer. So that seems like what we need for rough end, I think. It looks like it's attached to toilet. I don't know. I have a feeling. I don't know. Like the rough end, like it's supposed to be left open so they can see where the pipes are, you know. But I thought the pipes would all be connected to each other, all the pipes that were going to be piped. But maybe the rough end is just that you have it ready and hooked up. But also, maybe that's not all it is and we're in trouble or we're not getting what we're expecting to be getting. I'm gonna send a text message, I think. This is not my idea of what the rough end was gonna be. Okay. I'm feeling uncomfortable. This isn't what I expected. I'm feeling uncomfortable. All right, I am going to, so here in the living room, this is the absolute last floor that has to be finished in the house, the last one. But there is a gunk on two feet in front of the fireplace. And I have scraped and tried to get it, you know, I don't need it perfect, y'all know that. But it's just, whatever this gunk is, is a mystery. The rest of the floor does not have it, but the two feet in front of the fireplace in a perfect straight line just has a gunk build up. The sander, the powering sander, just kind of, it gunks up the sandpaper. Like, there's too much. It's like, like old chewing gum in a way. Um, so, I've been scraping with just a scraper, and that rolls up a layer of it. But I'm going to try vinegar, 
a lot of like degreasing dish soap and a scrub pad. So I'm just gonna scrub my stress out of me and see if I can do something with this floor. I messaged the plumber to be like, are we ready for the rough end inspection? They're coming in the morning. <laughs> I'll let y'all know about that. really glad that I let all this go. We did three day, two night vacation. I'm just really glad I let all of the house stuff go for those days. It's probably gonna be good for my mental health. I mean, I really think all the pipes were supposed to be in place and there was supposed to be a water pressure test. But looking back at it, I feel like you need water for a water pressure test and we don't have permission to turn on the water. So maybe Maybe this is it. Maybe this is where I eat to It's hot. Zinnia's sagging. She wants to watch videos. <laughs> she doesn't want to be out running plumbing errands. Anyway, y'all, it's a beautiful new day. Spirits are higher for me. I uh, went over to the house. I found my plumber. His phone was broken, but I got his new number. We're back in communication. Things are well behind schedule. We are not ready for the inspector. I have, today's Monday. I have rescheduled for Wednesday afternoon for the inspector to come in. Fingers crossed. They'll be that, that'll be that, and we'll get inspected on Wednesday afternoon. I have gone to Lowe's to pick up our shower attachment, which will turn the bathtub into a shower. You see them on clawfoot tubs a lot. It's a pipe, it's gonna come up where the faucet of the tub is, around back over, sprinkle a shower down. There's gonna be a ring around the top, hanging from the ceiling, you put shower curtains all around it. That should fix our shower. See, I only take baths. John only takes showers. So anyway, he needed a little bit of a shower option. And that'll be good for a rental or if we resell one day, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take that to the plumber. We're a little behind schedule, we're a little behind schedule. But I've communicated with the inspector, I've communicated with the plumber and communication is Everything. Everything is fine as long as everybody's communicating. We're a little bit high schedule, but that's okay. I am not stressed. I am not stressed. I am not stressed. Repeated as a monstra, 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 monster, stress. I am not stressed. No, B, I am not. I am not stressed. I am not chomping at the bit to move in. I am not stressed. She said, yes, you are. <laughs> Let me go deliver this shower. Oh my god. Alright y'all, it's lunch break. And I am not, I'm not too stressed for real this time. Um, yeah, I took the shower back over to the plumber. And then I spent right much time back over at the house. Talking and figuring with the plumber. So we got a faucet to turn the bathtub into a shower. The pipe comes up shower down into the tub, circular shower curtain with shower curtain all around, but the spout does not come out far enough from the little half wall that goes there. So we had to say, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? So it's hard to find one with a longer spout that has that shower attachment. Then you're going to have to kind of, ah, 
need to figure out this wall and build a wall or find a longer spout. It is always something, but the pipe will be laid up to where it's going to be. So we don't need to figure this out before the Wednesday inspection. But also, y'all, we got a contractor coming in to fix up some things Wednesday. I mean, we're about to... I mean, it is coming. We're almost at the finish line. I don't want to say we're close to the finish line without, like, knocking on wood. But things are getting wrapped up. Knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. This home stretch is a daisy. We're getting inspected today. Fingers crossed, Lord willing. Last time it was detained. Fish wash. Fingers crossed. Hi. I don't like an inspection day. It gets me spiraling. Spiraling to, what if I run out of money on this project and then I have to go work in the mill? What if I, what if, what if, what if? I just want to live in the house. I just want the inspection day to be over. I want this project. I just want to live in the house. I'm freaking out. Jesus. 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 All right, I'm about to try and pump myself up and be a boss and all that. But I don't want to do this inspection. Um, but obviously I do because I want to move in. I am stressed. I am stressed. Uh, meeting with contractor today. We got to get that stuff done before we can move in. So it's good. He's here. He's here. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But for some reason, I'm stressed. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm stressed. That's good. the contractor. I walked in the basement with the contractor. The basement was flooded. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is outrageous. I said, oh Lord, Jesus, help me. Joseph and Mary. Lord. Okay. But it was actually not a catastrophe. There is another water main entrance into the house and drain out under the house that is up in the basement but the water was turned off they turn the water on because we get pipes in here they gotta turn the water on so water comes out of them they turn the water on and it just comes a bubbling out of the basement they gotta put a cap on it it'll be all right it actually is a good less problematic entrance of water into the house and drain and all that it's actually a good thing that we got that hook up but and we got to gut that portion of the basement anyway but we just had ourselves a little flood today that's all no we're not ready for inspection today we're not getting inspected today the saga continues y'all stay tuned